Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. I'm Rick. For tonight's game, we'll be watching the Golden State Warriors as they go up against the Cleveland Cavaliers. For the Cavaliers, they are clearly amped up for this and determined to have a strong showing from the get-go. They feel this is a game they can win and want to establish the Traffic making its way across the Bay Bridge between San Francisco and our broadcast location tonight, Oakland, California. And David Aldridge is standing by for our... Well, Cavs had... Thanks, DA. Certainly a lot expected of everybody in Cleveland. A lot of veteran leadership on these two teams. A lot of guys who have seen a lot of baskets. Uh, Doris, they bring a wealth of experience in so many ways. And Kevin, as a coach, what's more comforting than to know you have a group of guys that know how to play, that aren't going to crack under pressure, that when the game is under duress and you're down to a possession ball game, they're going to have a calm demeanor, just like you, Kevin. <laughs> well, thank you, Doris. But extensions of the coach on the floor. Well, you've got to be able to think like a coach. And certainly, uh, you know, any time that... Groups have been together. There's this collective experience that helps them win. Here's the starting group for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Sharpshooters Irving and J.R. Smith are the backcourt duo. LeBron and Love, the two superstar forwards. And it's Thompson in at the center. LeBron kicks to Irving. Pass to Love. Cleveland moving the ball around. Love with the screen for Irving. LeBron can't get it to go. One of the most impactful free agent moves in league history, certainly Kevin Durant. Greg signing with the Golden State Warriors. Uh, it's sent shockwave through the league. I mean, we've heard of teams with three all-stars before, but, you know, the Warriors now have four. And when you look at Curry, Thompson, Durant, and Green, you could argue that each of them are the best at their respective position in the NBA. Well, that is scary for the opposition. Thompson with it, guarded now by Kevin Love. Here the step back, no good, shot missing. And Cleveland will come the other way. We've got 33 seconds left in the first. The defense fortunate that he didn't burn them there. You'd have to think he wouldn't miss that again. Durant with a wide open look, offline with his three. Cavaliers have gone just one of four to get this game started. Here is Irving. Passes it to LeBron. Let's it go from the baseline and nails it. That's terrific defense right there, but it didn't matter to LeBron James who just drains it. He's a master of shrugging off the defense. And that concludes the first quarter of play. chance to hear from LeBron James as he talked for me at a younger age I was again just another part of the maturation process for LeBron he's become such the consummate pro he is absolutely as solid and steady as a rock at this point in his career nothing rattles him nothing throws him off his game First quarter is in the books. Second about ready to get underway. And from what you guys have seen so far from Cleveland, uh, well, what's your take? It's all about their defense. They have just done a terrific job of negating the timing and spacing of their opponent. Boy, they have not been caught out of position much. And they're taking great angles to the ball. I love what I'm seeing tonight. On the floor for Cleveland getting going here in the second. LeBron James is out there with Channing Frye. Then it's Williams. Then there's Iman Shump, and it's Jefferson in at the small forward. And James throws it down. Now LeBron James will inflict pain at the rim when he gets freaky like that. And LeBron James achieving the highlight of his career, helping lead the Cavs to their first title in franchise history, and Cleveland's first title in over 50 years really hard to overstate what it meant to the city and his legacy. Well, that's great patience. Work the ball until you find a mismatch for the easy bucket. The Cavaliers leading by three. Outside Williams. And James with the basket. 
basket on the assist by Williams. LeBron's got six points. And there's been a lot of negativity, Greg, directed to LeBron's way. Cavs fans who felt betrayed when he left, analysts who questioned his greatness. What does that 2016 title now do to them? I think it changes a lot, especially for those in Cleveland. For the analysts who question LeBron's place in history, I think his two titles in Miami had already done a lot to cement his reputation. The 2016 title should remove that as an argument. Livingston. He's guarded by Williams. And there's the feed to Livingston. Six on the shot clock. Beyond the arc. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Here's Williams. Kicks it to LeBron. The 15-footer. That one doesn't go. You're always surprised. And the first half is now in the books. Cavaliers on top. They're up by seven. It's time now. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Ernie Johnson here once again, joined by Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. The first quarter for the Cavaliers was fairly even. They did jump out to a lead in the opening period, but four points was the biggest it got. What do you think, Shaq, about Cleveland? Well, the offense is running on all cylinders. Guys are focused, executing, not playing outside of themselves. That's why their shooting percentage was so... That's it for now, as the second half is just about ready to go. We... A look there at the Golden Gate Bridge, blanketed, shrouded in fog. What a sight. Welcome back to the Bay Area, everyone. Welcome back, everyone. We're ready to get going again as this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports continues. Players are topped off with Gatorade, hydrated, and ready to get going again as well. Look at LeBron James. He's really been playing well. And the thing I noticed most in that first half was his offense. He was not wasteful with his opportunities and also did a great job of converting with the chances he had. Yeah, for the most part, he took only good shots. And given his success, they may want him to be a bit more aggressive in the second half. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. And Golden State looking at who they've got. It's the Splash Brothers in the backcourt. But Julia is out there with Draymond Green. And it's Durant in at the small four. It's the three-point pop. Nice shot squaring up from long range, drilling the three. That'll put some pressure on you. The Cavaliers leading by six. Irving passes to Thompson. And with a little over a minute gone, the second half is underway. And it's James missing. And, and close to making the defense pay with a lax coverage that time. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. When you see Greg, this team play with Draymond Green, you can see that he's the heart and soul of the club. As impressive as Green is on the stat sheet with all the triple doubles, his intangibles are just as valuable. Steph Curry's the MVP of the league, but Draymond Green is the MVP of this team. And the Warriors making a change here. Iguodala's checked in. And Cleveland with a change here, too. Dunleavy's checked in. Iguodala with the steal. And it's the Warriors on the break. These are some of the toughest calls an official has to make. And he's got his first free throw of the game. First free throw in the second. That one is off. West is checked in for the Warriors. That one misses. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Here's Thompson, and Thompson throws it down. with it. Quiet so far offensively, searching for his first points of the game. From deep three-point range, a putback. Great positioning on the putback. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. And we've reached the end of the... Now let's listen in to head coach Steve Kerr. Move it to the next guy. Drive and kick. All right.
we welcome you back to what's been a hard-fought battle. Fourth quarter should be good. And so here's Cleveland. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. On the court for Cleveland, Love and Thompson, the hard rebounding post pair. Amon Shepard is out there with Kyrie Irving. And it's Dunleavy in at the three spot. Cleveland moving the ball around. Pocket four, Irving from long range. Cleveland gets it back. Shumper with it, picked up by Thompson. Also picked by Love, Irving. That doesn't go in either for Irving. And Curry has it in the corner. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. Curry's got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for the Warriors. Now Shumpert on its way from Irving for two. And he comes off the screen to bury the jump shot. And the Cavaliers lead by four. Warriors shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Outside Curry. To the middle. Looking for Pachulia. He gets it there. Outside Curry. For the three. Another miss by Curry. Moving against Curry. Love kicks to Dunleavy. Dishes it to Shumper. Feeds it to Irving. Thirteen feet away. Here's Thompson and fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Well, Thompson just a spectacular athlete and so muscular. He is so crafty on how he draws fouls while shooting. Raymond Green, he's checked in for Andre Iguodala. Cleveland also making some changes. James comes in for Mike Dunley. And Smith subbed in for Iman Shumper. Yeah, showing off a really smooth stroke there. And that will add to their lead. They're going to turn it over. They couldn't get it in bounds that time. Seven seconds left in the fourth quarter. And he commits the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really want. He's got one more, though. Listen, LeBron has had some years where his free throw percentage has not been as high as we'd like, but for the most part, pretty solid. And the second of two is good. That makes it a seven-point lead. Now a timeout called by Golden State. They're down by seven. 26 seconds left in the fourth quarter. 26 seconds left to play in the final quarter. A shot by Curry, no good. Stolen by Thompson. Outside, Green. Misses the three. Now, here is Irving. see the Cavaliers get the win here. This was a hard-fought, well-earned victory for him, Greg. They really... Thanks, Kevin. Kyrie, we're at the... The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson, along with Kenny Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. LeBron James. Let's go to Kenny. What'd you think about his performance? That performance is exactly why we call LeBron James the king! He is the offensive spark. And that's it for tonight. But we've got a whole new NBA season ahead of us. For Shaquille O'Neal. For Kenny the Jet Smith. For Kevin Harlan, wherever he might be.